This is Math 141, uh, practice test number one, and what we have in front of us here is question number 13. I'm just going to make some reasonably distant tick marks on this because we're going to have to sketch a graph of uh, this equation. So um, let me start with some asymptotes. So horizontal asymptote, that's the flat one is as those leading terms get really big, x squared over x, that reduces to x. Notice as x gets really big, it just grows without bound. So there is there is no horizontal asymptote. So let's think about a vertical asymptote then. And vertical, vertical asymptote is when I try to divide by 0. So that happens when x is 3. So right here at 3, like I have a vertical asymptote, so x equals 3. Um, I can find some intercepts as well. Let me think about x-intercept. x-intercept is when, when y is 0, when this whole thing evaluates to 0. So that's going to happen when um, my numerator is a 0. So x squared minus 4x minus 5, when is that 0? I can solve that. I could run it through quadratic formula. I could factor it. So it looks like it happens at 5 and, and negative 1. So I know I have an intercept here at negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I have one here at uh, 5, 0. Um... What else do I want to find? Oh, yeah, y-intercept. So y-intercept, that happens when x is 0. Notice when x is 0, anything with an x in it drops out, so I end up with negative 5 over negative 3. So it's just 5 thirds. So uh, 5 thirds, that's uh, 1 and 2 thirds. That's about here. So there's that. Now, there's one other thing going on with this, and I kind of have to be able to recognize it, and that's that I have a quadratic divided by a, a linear one. And when I, when I factored that quadratic, the thing I'm dividing by was not one of the factors, so nothing canceled out. So what I have here has a slant asymptote. In other words, if I actually do this division, it divides out to a line. There is a little bit of a remainder, but that remainder is what makes it an asymptote, uh, because that remainder is how far away it'll be from the actual asymptote. The, the function will be from it. So I'm going to do this division, and I'm going to just do um, synthetic division for it. So I'm going to take the 3 and put it into the 1, negative 4, and 5. So I'll bring it down, multiply, and then I'm going to add, multiply, and then I'm going to add. So notice what I, what I get when I do this is uh, x minus 1, and then it's like this minus 8 over still being divided by that x minus 3. And remember, asymptotic behavior is when x gets really big, as x tends towards infinity and x tends towards negative infinity. And as x gets really large, this thing basically tends towards 0. So that means this line is a slant, what's called a slant asymptote. This is the, the line that this function is tending towards. So that would have a y-intercept of negative 1, a slope of 1, so over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, et cetera. So that line right there is my slant asymptote, and I've labeled it. And uh, that actually gives me a good frame. Like, you can put it in your graphing calculator if you want. But I know that this is going to go like this, because it has those two lines. And then it's going to go like that as well. So notice that on this side, this approaches the slant asymptote, and then it hits the vertical. Uh, that doesn't hit the vertical, but gets closer and closer to the vertical here. And then over here, uh, it does that as well. Okay, there we go. Then over here, it gets closer to this asymptote, and then to the right, it gets closer and closer to there wedged in between those asymptotes. So there is uh, number 13.